getting dragged down by something. That's no good. No good at all. There's a monster stuck on the hull, which can only mean that it is boss time. We're up against the Clay Claw here. Now, the Clay Claw, uh, he's pretty easy in terms of a boss fight, I must admit. Um, I'm not going to have too much trouble with him. He pretty much has only one ability that I am uh, even close to afraid of. What haven't we seen? Have we seen Sylph? Let's go for Sylph. Wisp Wind. He is not weak to wind. But I do not have what he is weak to. He is actually weak to lightning. So we're going to go ahead and cast Bolt 2. If you've got uh, somebody that can use a sword, the Coral Sword is particularly useful here. But with a weakness as glaring as Bolt, this is not going to be a very hard fight. Now, he does have an ability that I probably will not see here it looks like because I'm just kicking his ass Slimer how dare you gummy liquid all over Gallop's body and it has slowed him uh, with another bolt too uh, that should probably finish him finish him down he goes now he does have an ability called tail screw which will knock you down into single digit health but that's really the only thing you need to be concerned about with this guy for defeating him though you get five ability points which is always nice looks like we've got an item out of that as well what are you gonna give me an ice bow very nice very nice in case i should want to go for a hunter no not a hunter ranger forget what they're called sometimes. I get the two mixed up. Take that! You did nothing, Sid! I did everything. But it looks like we are now in control of the airship, except it went down immediately. So we're not in control just yet, but it looks like this is going to be ours. Damage is minimal. We can fix it with parts from the fire ship, Sid. I'm sick of being thanked. We'll stay behind and search for the earth crystal here. You search the skies. Get going. Surely the earth crystal is in the skies. Surely. Where else could it be? Dar. The evil black mage. X-Death. I don't know. X-Death, really? We must keep him from returning. It's not, It doesn't have a ring of, a, of an evil boss. X-Death. I don't know. It's almost there. It's almost there. All that's left is the earth crystal. So let us go for the Earth Crystal, then. Away we go! What are we waiting for? Let's -a go! And now we have our handy-dandy airship, and now we can fly anywhere we want. Always nice. Black Chocobo, no longer needed. First stop for me, however. It's going to be back to the town where we just were. Let's head back. That's not what I meant, actually. Not your call, village. Further north, then. Further north. Where is it? There it is. Could you see why that would be a little confusing to me? They look very similar on the map. What's going on down there? Look at the town. This probably isn't good. Oh, that is not good at all. What the hell is that? That looks like some final level shit right there. And it just went up into the sky, out of range, and so it's time to go back to the happy music, apparently. Uh, let us go back. I'm probably not doing this the fast way. I probably could go around the other way, though. Uh, let us head back. Where is it? I went too far. So let's head further left so I can actually get where I wanted to go. I swore... Yeah, down here. There we go. Let's go back to Crescent Island, uh, the where we pretty much got this thing. And we can head inside. Actually, I didn't want to go into the town. I want to go here. That is it. Let's land on the dock, because apparently there's just a dock in the middle of the ocean. And... We can now speak to Sid and Mid. I've got something to tell you. Save your breath. We saw the ruins float through our telescope. You were keeping an eye on our airship, weren't you? Just spying on us all the time. How else could you have seen it? 
I read in the book. The earth crystal is in it. What? The crystal is what made it float. The machine has been turned off to keep it from breaking, but... The earth crystal kept the town afloat, but it was stopped when the crystal cracked. We've got to hurry. Someone started it up again. You don't think father... Never. Arr. Did father... No way! Why were there quotes there? How can we get up that high? I have another book. With this. Adamantite. If we reinforce the ship with this, it will fly higher. So adamantite is lighter than... Wood? I knew that. What? I remember seeing some in the meteorite I rode in on. You sure? What, you don't believe me? But your memory. I remembered the adamantite, didn't I? Better see it with me own eyes. Okay. We'll stay and get things ready. Hurry and bring us back some adamantite. So we have been given our next destination, which is... Actually, can I rest in here? Which is Tycoon Meteor! I don't think there is a place for me to rest, unfortunately. No, it's just a dead end. This isn't one of those fancy airships with deads, even though we could clearly put them here. No, we didn't think of that. I want to rest on the damn ship. That'd be so easy. Uh, we need to head to Tycoon Meteor in order to get some adamantite, so... We'll be doing that eventually, because now that we have our fancy dancy new transportation device, I guess you could say, the airship, we're going to be using that. But first, I'm going to rest up here, just in case, just in case. It is time to do some exploring now that we have our fancy dancy new airship. Did I already say that? I feel like I've already said that. We need to head up here. Yes, up here. And here, just northwest of this wind shrine, we can find a town that's hidden that we could not get to before. Let's go ahead and land out here, and we can head inside to head to Rick's village. Hey, Bart's is back. This must be Bart's hometown. Or you could just flat out say it. Who the hell says that? You've been gone a long time. This is your hometown. Uh, who who walks up to you and goes, hey, this is your hometown? Nobody. That's who. Nobody. Let's go ahead and save at the inn here. This was kind of a long journey. Uh, nobody's hanging out up there. Can't do anything there. It's free. Stay and rest a spell. Apparently, I didn't need to use the inn in Crescent Village or Crescent Town. I forget if it's a village or a town. It I could have just saved my 30 gil and spent it over here, but 30 gil isn't that big of a deal for me. And it looks like we have triggered a cutscene, because of course this is a Final Fantasy game. Nobody can sleep through the night, not when there's plot to be had. Oh, looks like Bart's had to go out to look at, his, at the grave. Bart's, what are you doing? Oh, it's you, Ferris. Stella rests here. It's my mother. Eh? Huh? My mother died here not long after I was born. After that, my father took me on a trip. Then three years ago, after a long illness, he died too. That should do it. Here lies Drogon and his beloved wife, Stella. He always wanted to be buried next to Mom. He was a good man. Fathers? Jar. Who needs him, says I. Ferris? You're just upset. Because you never had one. Darn, let's head back. The others are waiting. So apparently, not everything was good for, for Bart's in his childhood. Surprise, surprise. He was left an orphan. That happens quite often in these games. The main character ends up being an orphan. But it, we, 
at least know now what happened to his mother. I don't know if he has explicitly said that before. He's definitely said what happened to his father, though. So Drogon died of an illness, but Bart, you hang in there and be strong. See, this is what it usually sounds like when people tell are, are from the place where you are from. They don't just go, this is your hometown. You're, you're back. I, I waited for you, you know. When you're done with your travels, would you come see me? You're like six! What the hell? I don't know. I mean, she could be like 13. But that's supposed to be a little girl, isn't it? She's not supposed to be waiting for me. I have a princess now. Technically, I guess I have two princesses now. What the hell am I going to be doing with you? It's me. Let's hang out. It'll just be like old times. So now let's watch old times. Surely old times are good for everybody. That is a high-ass roof. Ready? Sure. Okay. And then nothing. Hmm. Looks like a lot of time passed here with Bart hanging out on the roof by himself. I, I can't really do anything with him. Yeah, he's in control here. What? Oh, crap. He's hanging on the side. Oh, and he starts crying. Hmm. It's tough. Friggin' highest building in town. He has to hang off the side. Still afraid of heights? Yes, you dick. I used to be so unassuming. Now I'm going to be a scholar. Good for you. I have a dragon. How, how does that taste, huh? I have a dragon and a sword and I'm a ninja. What are you going to do, huh? I'm a ninja. You can't do nothing about that. Let's, uh, let's head up here and talk to this lady. What is up? A bar's living in your old house. A bar's living in my house. This looks... Is this my house? I don't know. I don't know. Are you, you used to live in this house. Apparently it was my house. Bet you have a lot of memories here. Take your time and look around. Uh, let's go for the one shiny thing that has a p color palette that isn't like everything else here. 